First, just uh, can I ask for a few uh, description of uh, what you're doing and since when and well, whatever you can tell about yourself. All right, um, I'm lead level designer at Crisis Wide. Um, I was level designer already at Crytek in Coburg for Far Cry, then senior level designer for Crisis, and now I'm here in Budapest. So. And uh, for how long are you making uh, Warhead? Um, since about eight months now. So, and uh, we heard about uh, the rumors that it's it's going to be released in fall, in the fall. Uh, is it still possible? Of course. We are still aiming for this goal, yes. And what's missing? Um, we're actually right now in the final stage, so sooner or later it will be finished, and we are right now in the almost close to beta. So. Okay, so I think people are really curious about what, what are the main differences between uh, Crisis and Warhead. So uh, what do you think, what are the main differences, uh, what people will see for, uh, for a blink of an eye? Um, it will definitely be a little more action-oriented, so there will be more explosion, more scripted events going on, while we're still trying to keep, of course, the, what people loved, really, the sandbox gameplay. Um, level design-wise, I think the main difference will be the better mix of variety of the levels. There won't be any real really strong focused like zero g levels in that degree or um or really pure tank levels we also actually mixing the levels in between way more drastically um that means we're not going to have the game will not switch completely after the sixth level um, we will mix these things up more in between the levels in the action bubbles instead of complete in the middle of the game it will be different this won't happen so if people actually liked crisis in general they will really love it till the very end that was our main focus. So. And what is the percentage of uh, Koreans and aliens now? Um, the alien AI definitely got improved. It is actually way, they're more intelligent now. They're less these stupid drones. They're working way more intelligent, taking cover and all these kind of special events. Um, there are also, of course, some new secret things about the aliens, which I don't want to tell about too much now. Um, but there are some definitely some surprises. So the player also has to engage them in a more tactical way and has to think more what to do, what to shoot, instead of just these stupid drones just shoot and run just. So it will be way more advanced. Will we see some new units also or uh, there will be only the old units but with an improved AI? Um, the humans, actually, they won't be that much new. Of course, we, they use the new vehicles, um, which definitely is a great en enhancement because it's the mix of armored and light, but with a still powerful weapon. So it's a b definitely a big threat, but the player has a lot of different ways to take it out, instead of just with, um, with the law. Um, for the aliens, there will be some new enemies, but there will be the little surprises, so sorry for that. Okay, and uh, well, as a designer, uh, I know that uh, you're not the one who's responsible for the hardware, um, how do you say, the, the hardware compatibility and, and all these issues, but uh, did you have any... Uh, any special jobs, you know, design this level in a way that it could be, uh, it could be faster on a, on a normal PC. Can, can you do anything in your job for this? Absolutely. Um, all the levels actually a little, um, from the memory perspective, we actually really try to keep an eye on these things. So the levels actually a little shorter from the size, not from the play length in, um, in general. Um, but we also really Performance was a focus from the very beginning because we could start Warhead with all the experience from Crisis, so we didn't have to make big sacrifices. We could really plan the levels from the beginning with the experience which we have, what works, what doesn't work. Um, so a lot of these things are way better and way easier to get handled. Yeah. And uh, what was the biggest biggest bottleneck, or or what what made you really anxious uh, in, in this project? For this project, the biggest um, challenge was probably. Um, to get all the, the high expectations about this game, to really get it down to the ground and really get it all working. Um, it's possibly all these new action elements to get it all hand in hand with the sandbox gameplay. Um, they're actually what, that was the very, very new element which we had to add. Um, but we actually managed to get a very, very good compromise um, and I'm very glad about the results. So. 
And I've heard that uh, you, you hired some, uh, some pros for uh, writing dialogues and you're focusing more uh, on the whole story. Um, what can we see, maybe an adventure game? <laughs> um, what you can definitely see that the main character has actually, it has more character, it's actually he's, he's talking way more, he's actually, he has a certain struggle he has to go through. Um, Nomad in the main game was more, a very more quiet person, he didn't have that much of a deep character. But in Warhead actually, because the fans actually know Sykes already from the main game, so we can actually use that as a base and really build on this whole thing. And of course, because of the side story, it's a parallel story, so we can assume that the, some of the players actually already know a few facts, and by using these, all these kind of elements, we could use a way more deeper story, more deeper character. The people do not have to play Crisis to get really, to really know what's going on. Um, we have a couple of hints here and there, which also explain a few. I mean, the story, the whole story of War, it explains a few things, which the play from Crisis really, what's really going on. It really actually um, enhanced the st main story of Crisis. So the main story of um, becomes way more interesting, way more, um, way deeper actually than it was, because a lot of people thought that the story of Crisis was very, very shallow. But actually, there's a lot of things going on in the background which we couldn't really explain, but now we can actually in this game. So, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.